Hi friends, welcome to the Plain Fun RC channel. I'm your host Saul and we're here at beautiful PGRC. We're having a great look uh, fly in today. Beautiful field, one of uh, Southern Maryland's premier model airplane fields. And they're having their electric fly in. So let's walk around a little bit, see what fun things we've got here to take a look at. And you see here we've got a real, it's like a piece of cake. That's an old airplane back from the, from the 80s. Very nice looking. A little something here as well. Take a look and see what we've got over here, folks. A little foamy, you can see, a little aero scout. And a little flight test foamy as well. Very nice looking. And we've also got some other stuff over there. Looks like we got ourselves a nice little night timber. And a little flight test uh, plane right there and a couple other uh, flight test foamies as well. Got a really nice, real nice uh, F-14 sitting over there, EDF. Very nice looking. Okay, during the day, we're and then also some, we've got ourselves a really great Blue Angels, here. Fat Albert. Very nice Main looking. Prizes, uh, Very nice looking. Uh, an airplane, two airplanes. A wonderful EDF. Be raffled off. The tickets are five dollars each. Fantastic. So if you are people are still arriving, we so we'll be taking a little walk around in just a little bit. So All right, friends, more to come. And, uh... All right, friends, we continue our walk around. We've got ourselves a nice looking little stick right here, and a little old uh, T28 right there, a little foamy. And then uh, over here, looks like we got ourselves a nice cadet right over here. And also a really great looking green. We'll call it the green machine right there. Very nice looking. Definitely well battle tested. Folks, as we continue our walk around, we have a gorgeous BVM Bandit uh, Jeff Jet by the late Eric Bauer. Eric was an amazing modeler who owned GPA Hobbies here in Crofton. Just gorgeous. Let me uh, zoom in on that cockpit real quick. All of that is scratch built. Everything you see there. Just amazing, really something. Even the heads-up display, which you can see right in there. Fantastic. All right, friends, let's see what else we've got uh, here. More to come. All right, friends, as we continue our walk around, we got a nice little uh, Kike, little beat-up Kike extra over here. And we've got a really, some really nice helicopters over here as well. Like an airwolf, very nice. Really nice uh, Maryland State helicopter over there as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Rene, they all in my Rene. He buys all his own shit. I mean, you want to go to all the content, but you want to buy shit. This one is really cool. That's why Emil and all guys are getting shit. This is really cool, folks. Look at that. So he, we talked about um, he wanted to buy my head last year. And um, I'm like, I'm not going to choose. That is gorgeous. Very nice. Next thing you know, he's all scratch built, by the like way, the whole thing. Bucks. It's gorgeous. And I was going to give me 600 bucks on the head. He's like, oh, man, can you do a better deal? Then he buys this shit for like over 1,000 bucks. And then, then um, so Emil hit me up and said, hey, did he get the head? I said, no, he got to do something else. And then Emil's like, oh, that's a crazy motherfucker. But he's going to need help with something else. That's all right, friends. So More to come. Hi, friends. Welcome to the Plain Fun RC channel. I'm your host, Saul. We've got this gorgeous helicopter, and we've got Mark Campbell here, the builder builder who's going to tell us how he's able to keep that head nice and still. Mark, tell us all about the head, if you will, please, and how you keep it nice and still when the blades are spinning. All right, so what's going on here is that the main shaft has a hollow main shaft, mm -hmm. which there will be a tube coming out of there, which basically a, blast, a brass rod will stick out like this tall. And then there's a bearing that this is going to sit on. And then the brass tube will go up inside here, and there's set screws that will connect it to the brass tube. Now, did you make all, you made all those pieces, I guess. Is that correct? CNC those pieces yes. there? Yep. Everything's been CNC. Wow, that's amazing. And then uh, once the tube's sticking out and this is attached, then you'll push this back up inside this fiberglass and you'll bolt it on each side here. Fantastic. And Very good. It'll, it'll all slide down inside here and it'll sit on top. Awesome. And then the tube will go straight down to a servo, which will end up making it turn from side to side. And then the main rotor will turn by itself. That's fantastic. And, um, a friend of mine, Daryl Sprayberry, was a big help because he's perfected this. And uh, this is my first time doing it. And uh, so far, it's worked out good. I've been testing it just with a head without this. You know? Fantastic. And once I'm confident, then I'll add this to it, and then we'll go from there. Very good. Mark, tell us, what kind of helicopter is this anyway? This is a kind of a warrior. 
And um, what I did is I've kind of, uh, I've done it after like the Chris Kyle, American Sniper guy. And uh, you know where the Punisher logo is on the side. Yeah, it's kind of in tribute to him. Fantastic, very good, beautiful. All right, friends, more to come.